how to find product opportunity by searching for keywords. Now, why is this important and how can it make you money? Well, this is actually a way that Bradley Sutton has used to find more than 10 products in the last couple of years that he's actually launched on Amazon. He uses this exact same method. So when you're searching for products like I showed you in a previous video in the products tab, which is a totally fine way to search for products, eventually you're going to have to get some keywords, right? You're going to have to understand what products look good and then what keywords are the keywords that are driving sales for that product. So because of that, we actually added this tool here in Blackbox. And this tool allows you basically to start from second base already. It's kind of like if you're a baseball fan and you are in extra innings, like the 10th inning, 11th inning. Well, what happens when you start a runner on second base? Well, this, this takes you to second base at the beginning. So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you how to do this method. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to Blackbox under tools. It's under the product research tab, you're going to click on black box, and then you're going to hit the tab that says keywords right there. So in this keywords tab, we're going to do um, some search volume. Now, if you're, you can do a bunch of different markets here. So if you're doing other markets other than the US, I would do a lower search volume, like a 1000 minimum, but I'm going to actually do like a 3000 minimum to about 8000 max. Now you can, you know, change these numbers around and play with them as much as you want to, but I would start there for the US market and again, lower for other markets. And then monthly revenue, I'm going to say a minimum of like 5000. I'm going to do a price between 20 and $40. Now this is the price that the product is selling on Amazon. And then review count. So review count is an interesting thing to, to do because review count, what it shows is it shows competition. So you want to make sure to find products that are in the top 10 listings that have a lower uh, review count. So for example, if you were to search something like vitamin C serum and it has 100,000, you know, reviews in the top listings or there's 40,000, 50,000, those are going to be, that's going to be really competitive. So we want to find keywords where in the top 10 organic listings, there's, you know, less than 150 reviews there. So let's go back into here and then review rating. I'm actually going to skip, but this is basically, you know, on a five-star rating, you could potentially find some products that have, you know, a low rating, but maybe are still selling well. And that's a good way to do it. But this one word count, I'm going to put a minimum, minimum of two. And the reason that I put a min minimum of two there is because you want to have kind of uh, more broad kind of longer tail keywords. So for example, if you're selling a spatula, like a stainless steel spatula and somebody searches kitchen, well, the likelihood that they're going to, you know, search kitchen and find your spatula and that's exactly what they're looking for is kind of low. So you want to find those kind of longer tail, like stainless steel spatula that would be really relevant and very accurate for the product that you're selling. So that's why I would say to kind of at least minimum do a word count of two so that you have kind of those longer tail, more specific keywords. Okay, so let's get into it. And the next thing is the categories. So we can go ahead and choose some of these categories. I like to do handmade health and household home and kitchen, kitchen and dining here, office products, patio and lawn. Ah, I'll just do office products. You can choose whatever categories you want in there. Um, and then another thing that I like to do is look at title density. Now, title density is something else that you would want to understand. And title density is basically how many product listings on page one have that exact same phrase in their title. So for example, coffin shelf, when we search coffin shelf, there are usually around 40 listings that have exactly coffin shelf in their title. Now, sometimes if I put in, you know, large coffin shelf, well, the title density comes down to like three because only three listings in the, in the first page have large coffin shelf exactly in that phrase form in their title. And now why this is important is because when you put these phrases in your title, that's going to help you to kind of get a boost of rank for them because the title kind of holds more weight for ranking for different keyword phrases. So that's why um, I kind of look for this title density here. And I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to choose a maximum of five. So that means a maximum of five products have that exact phrase in their title. Okay, so let's go ahead and search and hit and see what we find here. Uh, yeah, so we only got 23. So we, we narrowed it down pretty well. So you can see there's going to be some fall stuff here because it's um, right now it's a September time frame. So fall canvas wall art, fall rugs, Disney, Advent. Let's see if we can find something. Kuromi blanket. I have no idea what that is. So let's go over here to these three dots and hit view on Amazon and it's going to take us to that keyword. Oh, I think this must be like a character of something. So I must, I just don't really know about that. We've got slime advent calendar. That's kind of an interesting product idea. Uh, let's see what we have on 
Amazon. So I guess every day you get a new a new slime for <laughs> for Advent. That's very interesting. Um, so you can see we've got stainless steel cutting boards for kitchen, fall candy dish. You'll see some keywords in Spanish, which is another really interesting way to find some cool keywords. And we have one more page. Let's see, we've got some stackable pumpkins, a titanium cutting board. So let's take a look at this titanium cutting board. See, that's more specific. So it looks like all of these are pretty similar, pretty much the same, but. Anyways, this is a great way to, for you to find some of those kind of trending keywords. And you can, again, play around with those filters and you can find some potentially really good product ideas in using the keywords tab. And so definitely, if you haven't tried using the keywords tab, check it out in Blackbox. Box.